can't believe we got another package from Industrial Illusions. Be careful opening it, Yugi. It could be dangerous. Wow! It looks like a Duel Monsters deck, and it was sent directly by Maximilian Pegasus. Greetings, Yugi boy. I see you got the package I sent you, and I'm so glad you decided to open it. Whoa! Is that Pegasus? In the flesh, and on a screen. I can't believe you sent me all of these cards, but why did you send them to me, Pegasus? So that you can use them, of course, in a duel against me. The deck I sent you is one of the two new Speed Duel Starter Decks, Match of the Millennium. This latest product was inspired by our very own duels, Yugi Boy. And that's why I made two separate decks, one featuring the fun and whimsy of my brilliant strategies, and another featuring the bravery and boldness of your iconic tactics. So, the deck you sent me... You guessed it. The deck I sent you features your very own cards, including some that I know to be your favorites. And my Speed Duel starter deck is right here with me. So what do you say, Yugi boy? Are you ready to use these decks in a Speed Duel? Speed Duel? The rules are simple. We'll use these decks in a duel against one another, and each begin with 4,000 life points as usual. But since this is a speed duel and not an ordinary duel, we each have three monster card zones and three spell and trap card zones instead of five. We each get only a single main phase each turn. And most importantly, we each start the duel with a skill card of our choosing. You're on, Pegasus. Wonderful. Now we'll each draw our opening hands of four cards. There's just one problem, Pegasus. I'm sitting here at home in Domino City and here all the way at Industrial Illusions headquarters. <laughs> Fear not, Yugi boy. Modern technology helps us overcome this very obstacle. We will have a remote duel, which means you can once again duel me from the comfort of your very home. And this time, there's no VCR required. Sounds good to me, Pegasus. Looks like I'll be able to defeat you without even stepping outside. Don't be so sure of yourself, Yugi. You're forgetting that I not only created the Duel Monsters card game, but also these very decks. And that gives me quite the advantage. In fact, that's why I'm letting you go first. It's time to duel! <laughs> I'll start off this duel with my trusted Celtic Guardian. With that, I end my turn. Not much of a start, Yugi boy. But since you're done, it's my turn. I draw. I'll start this duel off with my Toon Table of Contents. This spell card lets me add any Toon card from my deck to my hand. And I know just the one I want. Toon World! This is where the fun begins. Without my Toon World, I can't use all of my lovely Toon Monsters. So to get the party started, I activate it at the mere cost of 1,000 life points. Now that my Toon World is active, I'm free to summon the rest of my beloved Toons. Come on out, Toon Gemini Elf and Toon Mermaid. But my Toon Mermaid won't be sticking around for long. I tribute it to special summon Toon Summon Skull from my hand. Oh no! Fortunately for you, my Toon Monsters can't attack during the turn they're summoned. I set a card face down and end my turn. I draw. First, since my Celtic Guardian has lower attack points than your two monsters, I'll switch it into defense position. Then I'll activate my backup squad spell card. Now, each time I take 1,000 or more damage from one of your card effects or monster's attacks, this continuous spell card lets me draw a card for every 1,000 points of damage that I take. 
Next, I activate Summoner's Art. This card lets me add a level 5 or higher normal monster from my deck to my hand. I choose Gaia, the Fierce Knight. Now, I activate my skill. Your skill? That's right, Pegasus. You underestimated me. You didn't realize how quickly I would adapt to the rules of speed dueling. But underestimating me will prove to be a costly mistake. I activate Knight of Legend. This skill allows me to normal summon a Gaia the Fierce Knight without tribute each turn. Come forth, Gaia the Fierce Knight! In addition to making it easier to summon Gaia, the Knight of Legend skill also allows any Gaia the Fierce Knight monster or Gaia the Dragon Champion monster I control to inflict piercing damage while it's attacking a defense position monster. Plus, once per turn, if it inflicts piercing damage with this skill, I get to draw two cards and then discard one card. I'm impressed with how quickly you adapted to the rules of my speed duel, Yugi Boy. But it sounds like you're forgetting about the drawback attached to your Knight of Legends skill. While Gaia is on your field, you can't activate set cards in your spell and trap card zone. That's going to render you defenseless on my next turn. I don't need face-down cards, Pegasus. I put my faith in Gaia the Fierce Knight. Gaia, attack and destroy Pegasus's Toon Gemini Elf. Your faith is misplaced. I activate my trap card, Security Orb. This trap card switches your attacking monster into defense position, rendering it harmless. My Toon Gemini Elf isn't going anywhere. You may have stopped my attack, Pegasus, but I still have two monsters on my field defending me. On the contrary, Yugi, you have nothing defending you. I draw. I set a card face down and then enter my battle phase. My Toon Summon Skull can't attack unless I pay 500 life points, but that's just a small price to pay. <coughs> Toon Summon Skull, attack Yugi directly. What? Pegasus, I still have two monsters on my field defending me. It's true that you have two monsters on your field, but they're not protecting you. As long as I control Toon World and you don't have any Toons on your field, all of my Toon monsters can attack directly, even if you have monsters on your field. <laughs> so as I was saying, Toon Summon Skull, attack Yugi directly. <laughs> Since I lost 2,500 life points from your attack, I get to draw two cards from my deck with the effect of Backup Squad. It won't matter. My Toon Gemini Elf has 1,900 attack, which means that one more attack will finish you off. Toon Gemini Elf, attack Yugi directly and end this duel. It's not over yet, Pegasus. I discard Karibo from my hand. Karibo's effect reduces all battle damage from your monster to zero. I'm still in this duel. Lucky break. It's your move. I draw. I tribute Gaia the Fierce Knight and Celtic Guardian. Come forth, my ever-faithful companion, Dark Magician! With Gaia off my field, I can once again activate face-down cards. I'm setting two of them. Now, Dark Magician, attack and destroy Pegasus's Toon Gemini Elf! Dark Magician, attack! <laughs> Your Toon Gemini Elf is destroyed, and you lose 600 life points. Oh. It's your move. Slow down, Yugi boy. Before your turn ends, I activate this trap card, Toon Mask. Toon Mask lets me special summon a Toon Monster from my deck with an equal or lower level than the level of a monster on your field. And what monster is better to compete with your Dark Magician than my Toon Dark Magician? Since both Dark Magician monsters have the same level, the Toon version of your signature wizard is the perfect card for me to summon from my deck. Toon Dark Magician? Inspired by the original, this new and improved version is more powerful than your silly magician. It's my turn. This is the end for you. Toon Dark Magician, attack Yugi directly and end this duel! Not so fast, Pegasus. I activate my quick play spell card, Twister. By giving up 500 life points, I destroy one face-up spell or trap card on the field, and I choose Toon World. 
Oops! I forgot to tell you about my skill that I activated at the start of the duel. Your skill? That's right, Yugi. Toon Mayhem! With this skill active, the first time Toon World would be destroyed each turn, it's not destroyed. Looks like you wasted your twister. So sorry. Your storm had no effect on the magnificent world I've created. Better luck next time. I thought you might do something like that, Pegasus, which is why I also set this card. Spell Shattering Arrow. Oh no! This quick play spell card can destroy all of your face-up spells and inflicts 500 points of damage to your life points for each of them. Since you've already used your Toon Mayhem, skill this turn. You're powerless to defend against it. Your Toon World is destroyed. Ugh. And with it, so are your Toon Monsters. What's this? Why is your Toon Dark Magician still on the field? Unlike my Toon Summoned Skull, my Toon Dark Magician can stay on the field even after Toon World is long gone. Oh no! And that means it can still attack. Perhaps, but without Toon World on your field, my Dark Magician will be able to defend me. Toon Dark Magician, attack Yugi's Dark Magician! Dark Magician, counterattack! <sighs> Both our monsters are destroyed. It's my turn. I draw. I set a face-down card and end my turn. I draw. You looked out this time. I end my turn. That means it's my turn again. I draw. I summon Beaver Warrior. My Beaver Warrior has 1,200 attack points. Beaver Warrior, attack Pegasus directly. Oh, no. was a close one. With just 200 more attack points, you would have been able to win this duel. But unfortunately for you, now it's my turn. I draw. I summon Sonic Bird to the field. This monster's effect lets me add a ritual spell card from my deck to my hand. And I choose my Black Illusion Ritual. Oh no! Now I activate it. I tribute my Sonic Bird to perform a ritual summon. Here's my monster. That's quite the looker. Relinquished. Activate your hypnotic attraction. <sighs> Relinquished has the power to absorb any one of your monsters and gains the stats of any monster it's equipped to. That means it has 1,200 attack points and 1,500 defense points, just like your beaver warrior did. And if I'm not mistaken, that's more than enough attack points to finish you off. Relinquished, attack Yugi directly and end this duel. Not so fast, Pegasus. I activate my trap card, the Spellbinding Circle. This trap card ensnares your monster, preventing it from attacking or changing its battle position. My life points are safe. It's my turn. I draw. I set a monster face down. I draw. Perfect. Just because my Relinquished is trapped in your Spellbinding Circle doesn't mean that I can't put it to use. I activate Polymerization. Now I fuse Relinquished on my field with Thousand Eyes Idol in my hand. I fusion summon Thousand Eyes Restrict. My Thousand Eyes Restrict stops all other monsters from attacking, bringing this duel to a halt. Plus, its effect allows it to assimilate any of your monsters. I'll choose the only monster on your field, your face down monster, and equip it to my Thousand Eyes Restrict. Oh no! Thanks for the old vindictive magician, Yugi. Fortunately for you, since your monster was face down, my Thousand Eyes Restrict doesn't gain any attack or defense points from absorbing your monster. It's your move. I draw. Pegasus, you've bought yourself time by stopping all monsters from attacking, but that won't be enough for you to win this duel. I pass my turn. 
I draw. <sighs> What's wrong, Pegasus? Is your thousand eyes restrict getting in your way? I pass. Then it's my turn. I set a card face down. My turn. Perfect. I've drawn just the card to break through this stalemate. I tribute my thousand eyes restrict to summon the level five illusionist faceless mage. With thousand eyes restrict off of the field, the lock on our attacks is broken. But my thousand eyes restrict bought me the time I needed to get a monster on the field that will finish you off. My illusionist faceless mage has 1200 attack and you only have 1000 life points. Illusionist Faceless Mage, attack Yuki directly and end this duel! I activate a trap card, eliminating the League. By discarding a spell card from my hand, I'll be able to destroy any face-up monster on the field, along with all copies of it from your hand. I choose your Illusionist Faceless Mage. <sighs> Fine, it's your turn. That was a great move, Pharaoh. Now Pegasus's field is clear. We need to take advantage of it this turn and finish Pegasus off. You're right, Yuki. Let's do this. Heart of the cards, guide me. I draw. I activate Advanced Ritual Art. Advanced Ritual Art? This can't be. That card isn't in your Speed Duel starter deck. Perhaps. But it's one of the ultra-rare variant cards that's included. And since you sent the variant cards to me in the same box as my starter deck, I added Advanced Ritual Art to my deck by swapping a card out right before our duel began. Oh no! With this spell card, I can Ritual Summon a monster by tributing normal monsters in my deck. I send the level 5 Curse of Dragon and level 3 Giant Soldier of Stone from my deck to my graveyard. The forces of light and darkness intertwine. I open the gates of chaos. Bring forth Black Luster Soldier! My Black Luster Soldier has 3,000 attack points, which are more than enough to finish you off. Now, Black Luster Soldier, attack Pegasus directly and end this duel. No! I lost. You did, but the speed duel was a lot of fun, even remotely. Gee, thanks, Yugi. <laughs> I hope you'll give me a rematch soon. You know I'm always up for a duel.